Hey guys, this is a guy called Cody here and welcome to this Pokemon Showdown UU game here. Now, today I was playing Routes and this was a really close game I must say. It came down to literally the final move. Um, I sent out my Ambipom because that's pretty much my only lead I have for my UU team so I just U-turn out of there not really knowing what to do against the Dust Corps because I guess my team doesn't go that well but I was switching to my Chandelier here and he goes for a good play and goes into his substitute now, so I know pretty much my chandelier can't do much and it will most likely die, but I need to get that dust corpse out of its substitute. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll just use my shadow ball as I get a, crit a critical hit, but it did not really matter, and he goes for the curse, so I found this really good because now he can't sub up again, so he's pretty much just sitting there to die. So I'll go for another shadow ball and the will to take him out here as you just wait for Pokemon Showdown as it takes a bit of lag to make its moves but I take down this Dusclop so I'm getting cursed so I now only have two moves left this, with this chandelier so I have to make the moves count or I can easily switch out and he brings in his Weavile here so I see a good opportunity to go for a Fire Blast but he gets me really good and goes for the Pursuit which I was completely unaware that Weavile carried now the Weavile proved a big problem for my team in this match but in the end it hurt itself causing it to go down so anyway I bring up my Snorlax here knowing that it has the fire punch yes my Snorlax has fire punch but no one really expects it so I was predicting maybe to go for the curse but in the end I went for the fire punch and he brings in his bulky bronzong and I get the nice burn so I guess that got me a pretty good situation made his Bronzong kind of useless. I expected it just to be setting up because whenever I use a Bronzong I just use it to set up my entry hazards or screens so I know it will take me I guess another two fire punches to take him down so here's another two moves to play with. To play with. This was an alright length battle. It wasn't that long and he goes for the hypnosis here and luckily that misses. I tend to have got a lot of luck throughout this whole battle which I really enjoyed as I'll go for the fire punch again and take out this Bronzong so he has two Pokemon down I have one Pokemon down so we're looking alright I didn't really know what Pokemon he'd bring in next so. and he brings in this Meletta now I've never really faced one of these before so I didn't know what exactly to do against against it seeing it's a normal psychic type so she goes for the relic song and I say it's life orb I'm nervous, and it switches forms I don't understand the forms, but I just go for the body slam, hoping to get some paralysis hacks, but I don't get the hacks, and she reveals she has the close combat, so that was a bit of a problem to me here. So I go into my Ambipom here, not really sure what to do here against, because I didn't know how to face this Pokemon, but I realized I could go for the fake head here and hopefully get the one hit KO here, saying that my Ambipom is life orb. So. I guess I'll go for that and I do take it out so I guess I was really happy to take out something like that knowing that it was a I guess a bit of a threat to my team but anyway he brings in his Blastoise here so he doesn't know once again I carry a seed bomb on my Ambipom which I guess yes is really different to people not knowing and takes off a decent chunk so this shows me that this Blastoise is pretty bulky so I know this will take another two hits to kill this Blastoise as I'll go for a seed bomb again and he used Toxic so I guess that hit me with a bit of, bit of a problem it turned out to be for this match here. And I'll just go for the seed bomb again, not taking him out as he goes for the roar. So he brings in my own Blastoise. So uh, we're expecting just Toxic stuff here because Blastoise in the UU tier seem to just carry Toxic. And I'll go for my Toxic and miss. He'll go for his Toxic and hit. So he now gets to live another turn. I'll just go for Toxic again, hitting this time, frankly. He just roll me out back into my Toxic Ambipom. So I guess that was an alright play on his part. Swimming, just switching me out, going down his Toxic turn, so I'll now go for the Seed Bomb and take down that Blastoise. I guess I wasn't carrying some decent moves on that set or something, but I like to live with my HP here, so I'm expecting him to go to Weavile and just kill me with a priority move here. So I'll go for 
I don't really know what I wanted to do here, so I decided to go for a double hit, knowing that it didn't really matter, but he goes for the pursuit and loses another 10 damage with priority, so that really did hurt him there. I'll now go into my King Drum, assuming that I'll just probably go for a choice specs outrage. So I'm going to take him maybe kill him, maybe one or two hits, luckily. And he goes for the Ice Punch, does not kill me, but gets the Freeze Hack, so that was a bit of a problem for me, unfortunately. So I knew now this Kindra stuff, so I had nothing I could really do with it here. And he goes for the Ice Punch and takes me out, obviously, as that would happen. She apologizes, which I thought that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. I guess hacks are hacks. You don't really see it with Ice Punches. So I'll now go into my Blastoise. Now, I needed to play this Blastoise really well here. So he goes for the obvious switch into Raikou as I toxic it. So I guess that means now it's a bit time. So I'll now change Pokemon here going to my Crocodile. Knowing that electric moves can't help it, but he has the Aerosphere, which is super effective against me, so that was really worrying. As now, I'll go for the Earthquake, and he just goes for the Aerosphere and takes me out and gets a critical hit. No, that critical hit did not matter at all. So I'm down to my Blastoids here. I was just claiming GG as I lose some damage here. I'll go for the Scold, and you go for the Aura Sphere and not take him out. I'll go for the Scold and not take him out either. But Poison Damage takes him out and I'll now let the rest of the battle you watch unfold. Thank you for watching. This is a guy called Cody.